do we have here? We have a beautiful light bar heavy 1993 Mercury Sable GS. I assume that means good stuff. I'm not sure, but uh, I am sure this one is uh, in very nice shape. 51,000 miles. Got the, uh, of course, has the 3.8 liter V6. And uh, yeah, we'll just take a quick tour. Check everything out. I'll climb on in in a second so we don't have to hear the binging and the bonging. I've been able to find as far as windows and switches and stereo and all that all seems to work really well paints in fabulous condition it's a little rainy right now um, kind of misty so it's kind of hard to pick up but yeah really nice teal turquoise paint cloth seats very nice Catch at the right angles, there's some extremely mild discoloration. Maybe just needs a shampoo, but I'm being super picky here. A little plastic there is kind of broken. Same right here. Really minor stuff. Look in the trunk in a second. We'll look under the hood. Fifty-one six oh five as of right now. Not a crack to be found on this dashboard, which is a little bit unusual for these. Original stereo. Let's go ahead and just start it up. Oh, hope if I had the key. While I'm poking around my pocket, there are some scratches here on the airbag cover on the steering wheel. Not the end of the world. That's the worst thing in this interior, which it might be. That's kind of really saying something. There we go. All systems nominal. these cool controls here for the stereo. Volume. A long time. It does work. We've got memory, you can seek. We got a clock. We got a stereo. Or this would not be a stereo. This would be the stereo. I haven't put a tape in here, so I don't know if the tape deck works. Um, so if you're really into listening to period correct cassettes, um, yeah, you're going to have to try that out. I don't have one. If I dig one up, I, I usually try and throw one in with an auction because it would be fun. I'll poke around and see if I've got one from the mid-90s. Um, as for this... Yeah. You know what it does have? Place for your coins. Just so you know, you can use this cup holder so long as you only use soft cups and apparently you don't headbutt it. Just remember that because it'll, you'll, you'll brain yourself on a cup in case of an accident, which that's a really fun, yeah, fun stick. It does, I believe, have wheel locks. I haven't pulled the center caps on the wheels, but there is a key for it and there are spare lugs, the original ones in the glove box, as you'll see here. So no one's gonna steal your factory Mercury Sable wheels. I don't have the window sticker, but I do have the owner's guides here. Electronic sound system, how to maintain the beauty of your Mercury Sable. It is a beauty, don't let anyone tell you otherwise. But uh, headliner's in great shape. 
Some lights are doming. High tech Velcro stick on. And then it does have this guy too. So you can really maximize your visorage, visibility. Pop the trunk, so let's walk around. Look under the hood too. Very nice under here. Even that guy works. There's this cool option tag here. And of course the light bar. If you're interested in this car, that might be the reason why. Uh, these two bulbs here were burnt out. Um, I noticed that when I took it out to go shoot, shoot it and image it. So I put two new bulbs in there uh, for the charity. Just because, yeah, you can't, you can't take pictures of this car without this light bar working. With those two dimmed out and not working, not good. So those are two new bulbs. There's a couple little defects here. I'll go around the exterior real quick at the end. But there's some light scratches there on the bumper. A little scuff and some scratches there as well. And a little bit on the corner lamp here, although most of that will polish out. You don't really notice it, but it's there. The tires are brand spanking new. Got a receipt for those. Those were done super recently. Date code on these are 7 of 20. So seventh week of 2020. The, uh, of course, the Varum Ravius 5s, you know, the really well-known brand there or something. The GS. Little scuff there. All in all, super clean. Locks all work. Windows all work. Some light staining on the carpet here in a couple of spots. I think maybe some heavy cleaning will get that out. It's not the end of the world. Just something I did notice. And the headliner looks good. All this rubber looks good. It's still soft. And there is one thing, I just noticed it. I forgot about it until I closed the door. You don't really notice it, but there's a little bit of wiggle to these trim panels. You know, I know I only notice it because when I close it, you see it kind of do that. So, you know, it feels like there's probably a broken clip too. I did notice on on this back door is the worst. A couple of minor door dings, really light scratch on this door. But this door is the worst. You can see it's got a couple of broken clips. That one looks like it just popped out, but that one's clip is gone. A couple of these clips are popped out, so it's secure. It's not falling off. But definitely something to notice. If you want to secure it, you'll probably get a couple little Christmas tree clips from your local Ford dealer. Back seats. Back of the front seats are excellent. Even the rear package tray back here. All that rear package tray area is good, not sun damaged. Super light little scratch here, right on this edge. A 
nothing going on. A couple little dings on this trunk lid, like right there. Kind of see. Actually, it looks worse on this camera on the back of it than it really is, but it is there. Nice trunk. I think a, I think a Smurf is no longer with us. Um, I don't know what caused the big blue stain, but there's a little, it's not that big, but the size of my hand. There's a blue stain, spare, entire. They got this nice little piece of particle board as a cover. Thank you, Ford Motor Company. Well, that looks great. Some scuffs on this bumper. There's kind of a little moderate one there. It's light, but it's there. Same on the corner here. And down on the side. Again, you, know, you don't notice this stuff until you're on top of it. The car's so clean otherwise. It is there. And it goes up and down. Alright, I'm not going to spend too much time packing miles on this car. I always love that. We can save lives together. So um, we'll take a quick spin, go for a brief drive, and uh, we'll see what she drives like. Let's go. Turn the lights back on. Let's go for a quick drive. On my way down here, they were doing, there was some, if you can't really tell by the weather, we haven't had the best weather here up in Northern California as of late. And uh, we got a little rain washed out the roads up here. So they've cleaned it up. So I'm gonna make this a quick drive because I don't want to be driving through the middle of a uh, construction zone. Get your wipers work. The engine does feel good. are hearing some rattles it does have a handful and that's just because really every trim panel on each door I think has probably at least one broken or missing clip they're not about to fall off the doors or anything and you notice it when you really mostly when you just open and shut the doors they open fine but when you close them you'll see if you're staring at the top of the trim panel it's got a little more wiggle than it should rattling around a little bit while I'm driving here. Otherwise, it's quite nice and quite comfortable in here. Sort of the washout. The wipers themselves work okay, it seems. Maybe not, let's see. There they go. It seemed a little funky, but also they're working okay. Here's what I was talking about. It's kind of slow. Thank you, fellas. Let's just go without those wipers. Hey, Mercury. I'll make a left turn up here up this little bit of a hill and we'll call it a day. Suspension is 90s Mercury Supple.
that's really all the driving excitement, everybody. Um, you know, it does everything like you would expect it to do. It goes through all the gears properly. The engine sounds good, feels good. Doesn't make a brutal amount of power, but gets enough to get the job done. Um, you know, the steering feels good. The brakes feel pretty good. Um, they felt a little like they might be not be perfectly smooth. Um, the front rotors coming off the freeway, coming down here. Um, but they weren't, you know, it's not going to chatter your teeth out. And I haven't really noticed it coming to any other stop. So maybe I was just kind of over thinking it. But, you know, maybe some slight warping to the front brake rotors. Maybe. Um, otherwise, yeah, there's really nothing to write home with for uh, here. It, it, it does all the things. It feels like a 51,607 mile Mercury Sable from 1993. And that's pretty much it. You don't necessarily need to see me driving through some crazy twisty roads in a 93 Mercury Sable, but it it will do it. Steering's nice and smooth. You know? But, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, if you're watching this, you might be watching it because it's embedded in the auction that is live right now. If you're seeing this on Cars and Bids. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'll be interested to see what it does. I think why somebody would buy this car would be because uh, really pretty much just nostalgia. I don't think there's a whole lot of reason outside of that to buy a 93 Mercury Sable. Maybe if you're a light bar enthusiast, maybe you want to take it to your local Radwood because it's bound to be one of the cleanest examples left on the road. It's in the right color. I'm starting to hit some fog here. And um, yeah, you know, or maybe your grandma or your favorite aunt had one and you want to you want to relive the, the glory days. Um, or you just want some, some relatively standard, basic transportation. It costs not a lot of money to keep these things on the road. There's parts of the lore and they're all cheap. So um, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, check it all out. Watch the, uh, follow along the auction. Bid often, bid early. If you're watching this after the conclusion of the auction and you want to see you know more of these cars, uh, get an alert when they go live because I have these videos go live the moment the car does then um, do all the you know all the YouTube stuff the, the little notification bell the subscribe all that stuff um, and you will see these videos go live once the auction goes live so um, yeah thanks for following along and uh, yeah see what this one does have a lovely day